Hey everyone, Solomon Christ here, and in this incredible video, we're gonna be going over how to back up your N8N workflows. By the end of this video, you'll have a workflow set up just like this, where you'll just be able to click a button, and all of a sudden, by the end of it, it's gonna back up every single workflow in your N8N right into a Google Drive, ready to go. Here it is, back up June 18, 2025. And as you can see, all my workflows are coming right in, all as JSONs ready to be downloaded. And this has 71 right now. Um, as I add more and more, you know, you can do as many as you want, but literally, uh, this is what we're gonna be building here. So you can always back it up. So let's not waste any more time. Let's dive right in. So here we are in the workflow. And basically what it's gonna be doing is first we're gonna be, you know, starting the workflow manually. We create a Google Drive node, all right? And it's a simple node which basically connects up. And what it's doing here is it's just generating a folder name. But basically what we're doing is we're creating a folder name starting with the word backup underscore. And then we're just, uh, you know, setting the date. So in this case here, it's gonna be backup underscore the month, the day of the month and the year. But that's what this does here and it creates that folder inside of my Google Drive. So you wanna have a place where you're gonna put all your backups and I've got something called backups N8N here, all right? And so that's gonna be where I'm keeping it. Uh, you could actually choose you know, where you're gonna keep your own, but uh, basically it's gonna be a, a main folder where all your backups are gonna be kept. Next, we've got an N8N node, all right? So for those of you who don't know how to set up an N8N node, I'm gonna actually show you how to do that right now, okay? So uh, inside of N8N, if you actually hit tab, you're gonna see here that there's a node called uh, literally N8N. So let me just uh, zoom out a bit. So if I type in here N8N, you're gonna see this node, all right? And then you can do all kinds of different things you know, with this node here, all right? So I'm just gonna take this N8N node here so you can see this. And as you can see, it's asking for an N8N account, all right? So if I click on create new credential, it's gonna say, well, I need an API key and I need some domain followed by forward slash API forward slash V1. Where do we get that? Okay, so inside of your N8N, uh, this is a self-hosted N8N account, all right? On the left side here, you're gonna see these three little dots. Click on that, click on settings. And over here, you're gonna see N8N API. So go ahead and click on that. Uh, you're gonna see this little button called create an API key, all right? Uh, and if you don't, uh, you know, it'll probably be in the center. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on create an API key. And from here now, and let me just turn off my video so you can kind of see this a little bit more clearly. Uh, over here, you want to give it a label, all right? So um, I call it, you know, N8N underscore API. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, basically, you want to choose your expiry. You could choose as many days as you want. Uh, because I'm using it all the time, I put no expiration. And then I click on save, and it's going to give me that key, all right? That's the key that we want to use, and it's going to show it to you, you know, right here. Uh, and so, for example, I did an N8N API, but once you get that key, that's what you're going to use. And then when you're going to come back here, inside of your credentials, you're going to basically do the following. You're going to put that API key inside of here, and then you're going to get your base URL. So in this case here, you know, I've got a subdomain, n8n.solomonchrist.com. Uh, you could choose whatever your domain is, all right? Um, and then after that, you're going to do forward slash API, forward slash V1, Okay. And once that's all done, you're just going to hit save. And now you have access to your N8N. Okay. And you're going to be able to do all kinds of different things. In this case here, we're going to be using our workflows and then we're going to get all our workflows by doing a get many. All right. So this gives us a massive set of opportunities. So in the future, you're going to see more videos of me doing some advanced things with this year. But for right now, we want to set up a backup system. All right, so now that we have that set up, what we're gonna do here is the N8N node is literally gonna choose the workflows and it's gonna get many, all right? So it's important that you get many and return all. So that's gonna get us every single workflow inside of our N8N, all right? From there now, we're gonna be doing a loop over items, all right? And so uh, if you don't know what that is, you just type in um, loop over here and you're gonna see that. Uh, it used to be called split in batches. Uh, you can use either one, but it's, it's the exact same thing. And what's gonna happen then is we're gonna go in and we're actually going to first parse this data. And specifically what we're doing with this parse data is we're taking the input information and then we're stringifying it, all right? So if I actually run this here, let's just run the previous nodes here, all right? So it's gonna create that folder on N8N here, uh, right inside of my Google Drive. As you can see, it created it again, all right? That's one I, I just did right now. 
And from there now, uh, it brings in all this data. Specifically, it's bringing in my very first workflow. All right, now I have about 71 of them. So this is the first one. I wanna take that data from that workflow and I wanna make it just pure JSON. And then I also wanna actually export uh, a file name. All right, so I'm taking in the actual name of my workflow. In this case here, it's, uh, this is Hands for Hope in LA. We did, uh, you know, this one of my clients, uh, incredible. You know, um, uh, they do such great work with the, the kids in Los Angeles. Uh, so if you're in, ever in there, you know, definitely go and visit them, uh, donate to their cause. They're so great with the, the kids and the people who are coming in, um, you know, who need help in the Los Angeles area. So uh, Hands for Hope, this was an image analyzer. Uh, we did an automation for them. Uh, and so that's the name of the file now that I'm gonna be calling it. And then from there, uh, we're taking the actual JSON data and uh, that's going to be outputted as a raw JSON, um, you know, actual uh, file. And so now these two are going to be used for us to build the actual final JSON file that's going to be get, uh, you know, it's going to be getting saved in our actual backup. All right. So once that comes out now, uh, we're going to convert that um, into a text file. All right. So the information... Uh, from the previous node, it's literally going to be coming out and you can actually see the data here. Uh, we've got the name, hands for hope, uh, image AI, AI image analyzer dot JSON. And then we've actually got the raw JSON there. All right. And so it's going to take that and it's going to create that uh, file name for us. And if I click on execute step, you're going to actually see we've now got our JSON file here. So there it is. Like that's the actual JSON file. Uh, and it's actually as a text string. If I click on download here, I'll actually download it and I'll just kind of open this up for you so you can see this here. And as you can see, this is the entire JSON, you know, uh, string here. Now, if I actually selected all this here and I hit copy, so if I go to an empty workflow and I just uh, paste this, as you can see, it's the entire workflow. All right, so literally I know that I've got this all set up, it's good. So now I just want to, you know, be able to save this. And so our final step is actually going into Google Drive. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking that actual file uh, which is going to be the input data field name right here. All right. And it says data, right? Uh, and there it is, right? So that's going to be coming in. The file name is coming in from the previous node. All right. And as you can see, the one that we actually, uh, you know, named stuff. So this is the file name inside of that uh, custom uh, JavaScript there. And that's what's going to come in. It's going to be the final JSON name. And then it's going to go into my drive, specifically into that folder that we created earlier right here. So it's grabbing the ID of that folder and there we go. So now it's all going to go right inside of this. All right. Now, of course, it's generating a whole bunch of these because I'm actually doing this several times, but usually you'll run this once. So here we go. I'm going to click on execute workflow. And now it's taking all 71 of my workflows that are currently on this um, N8N uh, implementation that I have here on this N8N server that I got. And it is literally writing these files out. Okay, every single one as a JSON, ready to go. I'm now backing up all of my workflows. So I don't have to worry about, oh my goodness, you know, I lost everything. Uh, and a lot of people, they're like, how do I back up all these workflows? Especially, you know, the more you start working on N8N and, you know, you're helping out clients, yourself, your friends and community. Um, you know, this is such an important thing is to back up your workflows. Now you could do that and have it in a place where you could actually download it. Uh, you know, a lot of the other tutorials are doing it on GitHub, but not everyone has GitHub. All right. Just so happens that I'm a you know software developer, so I do. But for most of us, you're probably not going to have GitHub, but you're probably going to have a Google Drive. All right. <laughs> and so that's where we're going to put it. And then from there, you can even zip that up as a folder and download it to your desktop. So the code for, um, you know, this part right here and for the actual, you know, raw JSON, um, you know, conversion here, uh, I'm going to put that inside of the video description. So at least you can, you know, get access to that. But at the same time, if you're like, you know what, I just want to get this workflow, then please go ahead, join my school community. It's a copy paste, you know, it's going to save you some time and you get to support me and, uh, you know, join a community of other AI automators, which is pretty cool. All right. And so there you go. I mean, this took literally a couple of minutes to do. And now all of my, um, you know, workflows are backed up here, you know, boom, you know, all, all ready to go for me. And I could just download this, just like right click here. Click on download and now, you know, uh, Google will make a zip file for me. And in about, you know, five minutes or so, I should have a zip file um, literally done and downloading. There it is done. You know, there's a full zip <laughs> and I've now got the backup on my actual desktop.
of all of my workflows. So really, really cool. Uh, you know, the fact that you could actually do this, it's fast, easy, set this up today so that you actually get going. Now, for those of you who are more intermediate to advanced and you want to actually back up your server a bit more, uh, and you know, I deal with more advanced stuff, or, you know, that's for me. I, I come from a software development background. So what we want to do here is you want to actually copy our server address here from DigitalOcean. If you're using a VPS server, I mean, whatever you're using, whether it's AWS or any other hosting provider, and we're going to go into FileZilla and we are actually going to connect up to our actual server here. And as you can see, I've created a folder here called N8N Server Backup uh, inside of my FileZilla, uh, right in my local you know, computer. And so now I'm going to actually connect to that server. So I'm just going to go here. I'm going to click on New Site. Uh, the protocol that we're going to be using is going to be um, SFTP. Our host is going to be that. Our username is going to be uh, you know, the actual root user and whatever password you set up when you actually set up this actual server. So in this case, I'm actually putting that there. There we go. And then we're going to connect to this here. All right. Once you're inside of this, what you're going to be doing is, as you can see, I've already got like a .n8n here, but that's not, you know, uh, where I'm going to be going because I'm not going to see any files there. All right. So I have to actually go up a few and I have to go into my OPT folder. And now you're going to see, you know, your n8n Docker Caddy. That's where all your files are, your Docker Compose, YAML, um, everything that you were doing. So what's going to happen now is, you know, if you just download everything, it's going to take a while. Like, I'm, you know, I'm talking really, really long because there's a lot of files, but chances are, you know, exactly which files, you know, you changed or you actually worked on. For me specifically, the Docker Compose YAML is like so important. That's the area that we actually, you know, get everything that we need. And then I had some custom Docker files. So, you know, this Docker file here and this Olama custom, those are the main ones that I actually, you know, uh, did myself. Uh, so if you know specifically what actual folders and files you did, then those are the ones you want to actually just grab and download and put it inside of like a, a backup folder sort of thing. Right. So there we go. You know, it's all done. It's all backed up. I don't have to worry uh, because the rest of it is just, you know, uh, N8N stuff. It's going to be the Docker for N8N. It's going to be the N8N, uh, you know, N8N files. Um, so all of that is there. I don't really have to worry too much about those because those will come in with every fresh install of N8N. But specifically the Docker Compose YAML, the custom Docker files that I created, those don't come. Right. So those are the ones that I want to have backed up. And so that's what I do is I'll create a backup file here or a folder and I'll keep everything inside of there. So now I've got two different types of backups here. I've got my, you know, actual workflows backed up on my Google Drive. And I've also got my actual server backup stuff for more advanced users if you're going to set up a brand new server. OK, so those are two uh, very, very powerful ones. And hopefully that helps you out. Thank you so much for checking this video out. Uh, it's a short one because I wanted to get you up and running. And a lot of people, you know, they don't know how to back up their actual stuff. This video now, you have no excuses. Make sure you have backups of your N8N workflows. All right. Especially when you're doing a lot of automations. And I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, if you did, please join my school community. There's a lot of other automators like yourself. And if you want to get access to, you know, workflows and ongoing, you know, information, advanced training, because that's what I now am specializing in, uh, especially bringing my software background to the table. Uh, so if you want to learn more advanced stuff, then this is the place to be. Thanks so much for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you in another video. Take care. Bye-bye.